welcome back uh, subscribers and uh, welcome back you trolls hating on a low and supporting on a cool as my bro would say uh, we'll get into more of these uh, discussions deeper deeper as we go uh, that's semitones plus and a minus to your sinus my brain's in my head I know where mine is where's yours you know so we're going to talk all this crazy shit. But right now, we're going to talk setting off filters. This is a magic anomaly that happens with all synthesizers. Any synthesis should know this. Holy Grail sound. A passive uh, component now making noise. When it is meant to filter out noise and certain harmonics. Set this up. FM source. It's very low, you can't hear anything. That's as loud as it's gonna get. That's as loud as it's gonna get. Change it to notch. You turn drive off. Alright, so setting off filters, that's an anomaly that happens. At 112, is a more of a percussive type of thing, because see, and it goes away. Turn Rezo up one more to 113, this is what happens. No, that is, that's called a sine wave. Without the sine wave, there could be no sound little buddy right here sine wave without this little sign could be no sound as the foundation of all sound go look it up and the only thing that can really um, make a sine wave well everything is a sine wave even noise even is a bunch of sine waves it just looks like a bunch of static on a oscilloscope you know what I'm saying I know what I'm talking about so you you go read books or go look it up on Google just or go watch some stuff you'll see but um the only thing that makes sine wave naturally is a tuning fork and um if you ever i don't know uh there's this little playground i took my son to there's this little bell on the pole if you throw a rock at it it makes a pure sine wave and that's how i know because there's nothing in the synthesizers obviously but this sine wave is actual a real pure sine wave because it's made from self oscillation of a filter this actual sine wave on here is a ROM on loop or a single cycle sine wave that was been sampled on loop, I would want to imagine, or something like that. And um, so, with that, sine is number one. And when you use the filter, you make a uh, sine wave. The PPG is a different type of um, filter, it's more percussive. weird now when you get the comb plus or minus what you're going to want to do go to envelope three shut that envelope all the way off and take envelope three and mod one crank it to 63 go to f1 cutoff That's triggering a comb filter. That's how you set off a comb filter, plus or minus. Now you could leave that on, and it adds a little bit extra to the uh, percussive or the transient part of the beginning of your um, sound. Now, if we wanted to turn this into a uh, EP for instance you know I'll do that quick it's nothing to me <clears throat> whoops right there Thank 
Before I turn to EP, see how that sounds like an organ? That's because there's no FM going on with the ring modulation. And Oscillator 3 really isn't being heard by anything, to be honest with you. Because Oscillator 3 is silent. Whoa, whoa, lying again. All the oscillators was on. Whoa. But see, how quick and simple you can make a mistake, you can show somebody something. You saw that. 8, 16, and 1. You have something on. They weren't all on. However, that's how you can make it work sound. But I rest my case because... It still sounds like an organ though. And what's crazy is I haven't added any fifths or anything like that. But that's what ring modulation does. Ring modulation creates disharmonic content. So now that you've combined this crap with the filter you've changed things around it's like a percussive organ see that this is setting off the filter, but now I, I brought in the LFO for purpose. That was just to add in to show you something how you can how you can do that, but I'll turn it off. And that's how you um, set off your filters. Now you can set off your filter. You can get some real percussive bass with that PPG set off and you start adding drive into it. That's nasty. Yeah, you could do some real, real funky stuff with that PPG. That's all. That's all. That's on you. It's on you. You know, you have to experiment with it. You got to screw around with it. But setting off a filter is the holy grail of the sound, and that's what you can use as your foundation or your fundamental. Because why? Sign is the fundamental of sound. It is the fundamental. Go look it up. And on that note, we will discuss more on waves, ring modulation, mixing waves, wave tables, because wave tables are vivid. You know, they're not just traditional waves. You can find a sign in there somewhere, but you can find a sign in everything. However, wave tables are more complex, you know, looking more like that, in essence, noise or something like this. I don't know, but that's ring modulation right there. But uh, we'll cover some extra materials. You know, we will definitely cover uh, extra materials. I have to go over this stuff with you. It starts to get really, really freaking crazy. But I don't know. I don't want to spoil it. Take it one uh, tape at a time. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, want to run the next one. I'll catch you on the flip.